Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know what? And I'm glad that um, Daily Mail does a pretty good job of keeping up with these stories that um, American, I mean, that, that, that the press, American press really knows, but they don't want to share it on the mainstream, especially on stations like Fox News. They keep hiding the truth from the American people, which is why we're so crazy. And most of us only know a tip of the knowledge of what's happening on the planet. And that's why they're able to get away with so much mayhem and disgust. And then everybody's got this. Everybody's in denial, basically. I suggest you come on in to the mental house. Or go to AA, CA, any one of those groups that you're in denial with about your drug problem and your drugs is believing every damn thing that these people in, in terms of our government has told us. Now, in the media, which is the visual arm of white supremacy, okay? Remember that. Unless it's independent, more than likely. All you have some that may be a little less biased, but you know we don't want to talk about ales in them or the you know who that started Fox News. Okay, now ABC, I can't think. Um, I think he died. I don't know, but their whole intent was to come out and be racist, right? Because remember they used black people first to get that uh, station on and popping. Martin, all those early black shows back in the day. And when they finish using us like they always do, they kick us off after we build a network up and then they start looking, doing propaganda against them, us, the very people who's, who supported this station in the first place. And if you're smart enough to have witnessed that, then you realize, wow, we're only good to be used. And this is some propaganda type of stuff right here. Now, and I want to share this with you because it's so important that the mainstream media hasn't shared this, that it's a wealthy New York City college student that's 20 years old. He's among eight folks arrested for causing over $100,000 worth of damage to businesses in Manhattan during the Black Lives Matter rampage. That ain't no Black Lives Matter. That ain't no... That's, that's, these are your agitators that, um, want some attention and they using the opportunity of people's grief. He had a hammer busting out windows. You understand what I'm saying? And it's disgusting. They taking people's grief and an opportunity and then of people protesting or demonstrating, whatever you want to choose to call it, and then they go in there busting out windows and doing those kind of things. Uh-uh. 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 For what reason? Um, If that's what um you feel the need to do, then let it be known. Don't come dressed down and you're not being able to be seen, identified, or nothing, and then you go and hide behind somebody, and then when I check your pedigree, you're a college student, or you're a person that um, is probably remotely removed from the struggles of these people right here. Come on now. That's just my opinion, of course. Of course. But what I really wanted to say... <laughs> And um is good luck to those people that are going to expose themselves over the weekend um because of Labor Day. 
and they're going to go to the beaches and stuff, and they're going to be out there running amok, breathing all on everybody. Um. You got that happening on one end and on the other end, you got people who are not even caring about that at all. They just rioting. That's all. They just rioting because they don't care about nothing at this point. I don't know who they are over in Portland. I don't know um, the situation and the circumstances in Portland that would make this continue. And the way it's continuing. But I'm not going to put no judgment, no shade on it one way or the other. And if that's what you was looking for me to do, I can't. It's unfortunate that for those of y'all who own those businesses are uh, caught in this time and space. It's, it's just that un unfortunate. So, with that being said, um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and tell me your opinion. I mean, I, I need to know. I need to know. Then let's get back some more lies in this mental house. I'll see you in the next video.